fish hunt. Holy cow. I foul hooked a crappie, guys, and it's a big one. <laughs> no, no. What's going on everybody? Nick from 6 8 Fishing here and today is going to be another episode of the Tiny Lure Challenge. This one is featuring a pretty strange little crankbait. It's got an elongated body, a square bill, and a single barbless hook on the back of it. So I'm pretty curious to see how this thing does and if I can catch some fish with it. Okay guys, first cast with this weird little crankbait. Looks pretty good in the water, so I'm pretty confident that this thing's gonna do pretty well out here. Oh, there's a fish. Holy cow, second cast, guys. Oh, it's a bass. No, he's off. He came off right as I was bringing him up on the bank. But check it out, my second cast. Go ahead, let him go. See you later, buddy. He was out of here. I did almost lose that first fish when I was landing it, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful <laughs> for the next one. There's a fish. And there we go. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a big fish, but I'll take it. See you later, buddy. Fish on. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, he came off. Darn, 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 darn. There we go. Okay. I had a couple fish come off, but uh, finally caught another one. Oh, see you later, buddy. Okay guys, so this crankbait is quickly turning into one of my favorite ultralight fishing lures. I'll show you guys some clips, but there are just a bunch of these small bait fish right up next to the shore, and I'm just casting parallel to the bank, and this thing is imitating them perfectly. I'm getting a bite almost every cast. The fish, I could see them coming up from the darkness, and they're just, they're missing it, but it is still really fish on. There we go, another little bass. See you later, buddy. Ooh, holy cow. Even though he's one of the smaller fish I've caught, I think this guy hit the bait harder than any of the others. See you later, buddy. Okay, guys, so I've only been fishing for about an hour, and I've been catching a lot of fish with this little crankbait, but I actually bought a couple different versions. The one that I was using floats. I'm gonna try out this sinking version and see if it does any better. And I'm gonna target an area of the pond that is actually relatively deeper than the rest. And I was here earlier, a lot of the fish were coming up from the deep, but that last crankbait could only dive about two feet. So I'm gonna cast this one out, let it sink for just a little bit before I start cranking it, and see if I can't attract some of these, uh, some of these fish. Fish on. There we go, stay on. Oh, yes, and it's another really nice crappie. See you later, buddy. Holy cow. I foul hooked a crappie, guys, and it's a big one. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Yes. I can't believe I actually got him. Holy guacamole. See you later, buddy. That was, that was one of the biggest crappie I've ever caught. And it was a pretty memorable catch. I had to jump in the water to catch him, but uh, that was really cool. Ooh, fish on. See you later, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, there's a fish. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes. See you later, buddy. Okay, guys, so I finally caught that last fish and Overall, today was a lot of fun. I only had about two hours to fish, so I was a little bit nervous about trying this lure out for the first time, but boy, am I glad I finally used it because this thing straight out catches fish. It was mimicking these bait fish almost perfectly. I think today they were more interested in the sinking version, but the floating version did really well also. So if you guys are interested in ultralight fishing, I highly recommend giving these lures a try. I will leave the link in the description if you guys are interested. But uh, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I will catch you on the next one. I foul hooked the crappie guys and it's a big one. <laughs> no, no. Yes, holy guacamole.